All right, video time. Let's talk about batteries. Today we're gonna talk about this battery right here. It comes from a hybrid car. It's a 12S battery. We made videos about it before. Uh, 44 volts, right? So it's not quite standard for like a 48 volt inverter, but they do make, check out this inverter. It's made for the Tesla power packs, which are 6S. So you have to use two of them in series, which is makes 12S. So that's engineer. So that inverter right there, uh, actually there's a couple of them, uh, will work with these batteries. But I also think I have uh, an inverter that I wanna try and see if I can get it to work, see how much, uh, you know, how much of the battery capacity would be left on the table because of the discrepancy on the voltage. So in order to do that, I have to figure out this pin out here because, well, it kind of makes sense to just figure out how to connect these without the least amount of work, right? So I don't wanna have to come in here and undo all these wiring and stuff. So the pin out here. So we're gonna figure out the pin out. I'm just gonna do it off camera and then I'll show it to you once I'm done. Okay, so it looks pretty straightforward. It looks like the uh, most negative is that one on the upper left and then a number two is going to be the one below it and then it's going to zigzag this way and that way and this way until you get all um 13 pins because these are 12 cells so there's nothing here other than that there is the last pin there is not used for anything this is a 14 pin connector but only 13 are being used so while doing this i uh realized that these pins from these maneki connectors are the roughly the same size so they work right you move them around and it, they, they don't get disconnected so i think they're the exact same uh diameter uh that you need to put in there the only difference between this the reason you can't just stick them in there is because the spacing is different these are 2.54 millimeters apart so slightly more than two and a half millimeters and this has a pitch of three millimeters so there's three millimeters between those either way down this way is three millimeters and then down that way is three millimeters and so we haven't been able to find this connector we're looking we order a few uh that seem like they are similar but they don't there's no right and so as of right now we still don't know some people are saying obd connectors but i'm looking at a bunch of pictures and the obd connectors look different and they said maybe the japanese version of the obd connector so we're just kind of looking for them until we do find that i think something like this would work but this is a bit of a work i think I, i'm i just designed a little pcb board that we I, i'm going to be able to put and stick these you can get these without this connector right here and so you easily can stick them in there and solder them and then just solder the whole board in there and that's one quick easy way to get uh, around the fact that these uh, connectors might not be available or readily available or easily available and so after that then what we're going to do is we're going to connect a bunch of these in parallel which is the easier just positive to positive negative to negative and then we're going to try to connect an inverter a 44 a 48 volt inverter and just see how much capacity we can get out of them this is slightly more than one kilowatt hour and you know by being lower voltage are we going to lose some because you're not going to be able to discharge them all the way that's the test that is that i'm um, coming and working so for right now we figure out the pinout all right thank you for watching this video if you're interested in those batteries they're at jack35.com they're very very powerful batteries these are like 10 15 c batteries right so very powerful uh they're kind of odd at 12s right so we're trying to find useful applications for them and trying to find all the connectors so that it becomes easy for people to use them and connect them right so thank you again we'll see you guys on the next video bye